A cantata is a vocal composition with an instrumental accompaniment, typically in several movements, often involving a choir. The meaning of the term changed over time, from the simple single voice madrigal of the early 17th century, to the multi voice cantata da camera, and the cantata da chiesa of the later part of that century, from the more substantial dramatic forms of the 18th century to the usually sacred texted 19th century cantata which was effectively a type of short oratorio. Cantatas for use in the liturgy of church services are called church cantata or sometimes sacred cantata, others sometimes secular cantata. Johann Sebastian Bach composed around 200 cantatas. Several cantatas were, and still are, written for special occasions, such as Christmas cantatas. Historical Context the term originated in the early 17th century simultaneously with opera and oratorio. Prior to that all cultured music was vocal. With the rise of instrumental music the term appeared, while the instrumental art became sufficiently developed to be embodied in sonatas. From the beginning of the 17th century until late in the 18th, the cantata for one or two solo voices with accompaniment of basso continuo was a principal form of Italian vocal chamber music. A cantata consisted first of a declamatory narrative or scene in recitative, held together by a primitive aria repeated at intervals. Fine examples may be found in the church music of Giacomo Carissimi. And the English vocal solos of Henry Purcell show the utmost that can be made of this archaic form. With the rise of the Da Capo aria, the cantata became a group of two or three arias joined by recitative. George Friedrich Handel's numerous Italian duets and trios are examples on a rather large scale. His Latin motet Silt Venti, for soprano solo, showed the use of this form in church music. Differences from other musical forms, the Italian solo cantata tended, when on a large scale, to become indistinguishable from a scene in an opera, in the same way the church cantata, solo or choral, is indistinguishable from a small oratorio or portion of an oratorio. This is equally evident whether we examine the unparalleled church cantatas of Bach, of which nearly 200 are extant, or the Chandossi anthems of Handel. In Johann Sebastian Bach's case many of the larger cantatas are actually called oratorios. And the Christmas oratorio is a collection of six church cantatas actually intended for performance on six different days though together forming as complete an artistic whole as any classical oratorio. Baroque, cantatas were in great demand for the services of the Lutheran Church. Sacred cantatas for the liturgy or other occasions were not only composed by Bach but also by Dietrich Buxtehude, Christoph Graupner, Gottfried Heinrich Station Paragraph LZEL and Georg Philipp Telemann, to name a few. Many secular cantatas were composed for events in the nobility. They were so similar in form to the sacred ones that many of them were parodied to sacred cantatas, for example in Bach's Christmas Oratorio. Classical and Romantic period, the term cantata came to be applied almost exclusively to choral works, as distinguished from solo vocal music. In early 19th century cantatas the chorus is the vehicle for music more lyric and song-like than in oratorio not excluding the possibility of a brilliant climax in a fugue as in Ludwig van Beethoven's Gleriche or Genblick, Karl Maria von Weber's Jobel Cantate, and Felix Mendelssohn's Die Erst Walpurgis Snacked. Anton Bruckner composed several named A cantatas, a festive cantata and two secular cantatas. Mendelssohn's Symphony Cantata, the Lubchsang, is a hybrid work, partly in the oratorio style. It is preceded by three symphonic movements, a device avowedly suggested by Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. But the analogy is not accurate, as Beethoven's work is a symphony of which the fourth movement is a choral finale of essentially single design, whereas Mendelssohn's Symphony Cantata is a cantata with three symphonic preludes. Robert Schumann wrote the cantata Paradise in the Peri. The full lyric possibilities of a string of choral songs were realized by Johannes Brahms in his Rinaldo, that a euro like the Walpurgis not a euro was set to a text by Goethe. Other cantatas, Beethoven's Miere Still, works of Brahms and many notable small English choral works, such as cantatas of John Henry Maunder and John Stanley, 
find various ways to set poetry to choral music. The competition for the French Prix de Rome prescribed that each candidate submit a cantata. Hector Berlioz failed in three attempts before finally winning in 1830 with Sardna Pale. While almost all of the Prix de Rome cantatas have long since been forgotten, Debussy's prize-winning L'Enfant Prodigue is still performed occasionally today. Late in the century, Gustave Mahler wrote his early Das Klagend Light on his own words, between 1878 and 1880, and Samuel Coleridge Taylor created a successful trilogy of cantatas The Song of Hiawatha between 1898 and 1900. 20th century and beyond, cantatas, both of the chamber variety and on a grand scale, were composed after 1900 as well. In the early part of the century, secular cantatas once again became prominent, while the 19th century tradition of sacred cantatas also continued. Ralph Vaughan Williams composed both kinds, festival cantatas such as Toward the Unknown Region, Five Mystical Songs, and Five Tudor Portraits, and sacred cantatas including Sancta Civitas, Benedicite, Donia Nobis Pacem, and Hodi. Joseph Ryland also composed secular and sacred cantatas, such as Le Chant de la Pauvreté copyright Op A92 in 1928 and Benny Creator Op A123 in 1938. Bar copyright La Barta Cubed K composed the secular cantata profana, subtitled The Nine Splendid Stags, and based on a Romanian folk tale, in 1930. Although it began as a song cycle, Arnold Schoenberg's Scurry Leader evolved into one of the century's largest secular cantatas. Paul Hindemith composed three works he designated as cantatas, Die Serenaden, Op A35, The Soprano, Oboe, Viola, and Cello, Mainung and Die Jugend, Psych der Musik zu Beflesigen, and I Tangeli Velosis for Alto and Tenor, Mixed Chorus, and Orchestra, with audience participation. Of Anton Webern's last three compositions, two are secular cantatas, Cantata No. 1, Op A29, and Cantata No. 2, Op A31, both setting texts by Hildegard Joan. Webern had begun sketching a third cantata by the time he was killed in 1945. Ernst Krenick also composed two examples, a scenic cantata, Dysingberg, Op A14, and a cantata for wartime, Op A95, for women's voices and orchestra. Sergei Prokofiev composed Semeroic, and in 1939 premiered a cantata drawn from the film music for Alexander Nevsky. Among the most famous of all cantatas is Karl Orff's Carmina Burena, written 1935 a Euro 36. The introductory and concluding movement, O Fortuna, has been used in countless films, and has become some of the most recognizable music ever written. Patriotic cantatas celebrating anniversaries of events in the revolution or extolling state leaders were frequently commissioned in the Soviet Union between 1930 and the middle of the century, though these occasional works were seldom among their composers' best. Examples include Dmitry Shostakovich's poem of the Motherland, Op A47 and The Sunshines Over Our Motherland, Op A90, and the works by Prokofiev, Stravita. Hail to Stalin along with two festival cantatas, the cantata for the 20th anniversary of the October Revolution, Op A74, and Flourish, Mighty Homeland, Op A114, for the 30th anniversary of the same event. Dmitry Kobelovsky also composed four such cantatas, The Great Homeland, Op A35, The Song of Morning, Spring and Peace, Op A57, Leninists, Op A63 and about our native land, Op A82. In 1940, the Brazilian composer Hieta Villa Lobos created a secular cantata titled Mandua Sectionarera, based on an Indian legend collected by Barbosa Rodrigues. Igor Stravinsky composed a work titled Simply Cantata in 1951 a Euro 52, which used stanzas from the 15th century lightweight dirge as a narrative frame for other anonymous English lyrics, and later designated a sermon, a narrative and a prayer as a cantata for alto and tenor soli, speaker, chorus, and orchestra. Luigi Nonno wrote Il Canto So Spaso in 1955 a Euro 56. 
Hans Werner Hens composed a cantata della fiaba estrema and novi di infinito lords, as well as a number of other works that might be regarded as cantatas, such as Kammer Music, Musen Sizilines, and Els Maracuden. Moment, one of the most important works of Karl Heen Stockhausen, is often described as a cantata. Benjamin Britten composed at least six works he designated as cantatas, The Company of Heaven, Rejoice in the Lamb, Op A30, St. Nicholas, Op A42, The Cantata Academica, Op A62, The Cantata Misericordium, Op A69, and Phaedra, Op A93. Alberto Ginistera also composed three works in this form, The Cantata Paranama Copyright Rica Magica, Op A27, Bermazzo, Op A32, and Milner, Op A37, and Gottfried von Einem composed in 1973 and Dithnisht born and based on diverse texts, the title taken from a poem of Bertolt Brecht. Mikis Theodorakis composed the cantatas according to the Sadducees and Canto Olimpico. Herbert Blendinger's Media in Vital was premiered in 1980, his Mitch Ruft Zuyelin ain still in, and Aline Den Bitten Can is not Jellingen in 1995. Ivo N. Erod wrote in 1988-89, Box Lucy's, Op A56. Ivan Moody wrote in 1995 Revelation. Cantatas were also composed by Mark Alberger, Eric Bergman, Carlos Carvez, Oswald Lubner, Peter Maxwell Davis, Norman Dello Joio, Lucas Voss, Roy Harris, Arthur Honiger, Alan Hovanes, Dmitry Kabelovsky, Libby Larson, Peter Minin. Dmitry Nicolo, Xistoff Pendirki, Daniel Pinkham, Earl Robinson, Ned Roram, William Schumann, Roger Sessions, Siegfried Strach, Michael Tippett, and Kurt Wiel. References External links Dermich Music Dictionary, Car Eurocar, Multimedia Dictionary, Cantata at Virginia Tech.